my god, it's so hot. Let's not drink that right now. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison. For those of you that are new here, today's video is a holiday gift guide. It is currently November 12th, which means it's almost Thanksgiving, which means it's almost Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. And that means that holiday shopping is coming up. I got most of my Christmas shopping done because I wanted to do it a lot earlier than I normally do so that I'm not stressing about it. So I decided to create this little guide to help anyone that is having troubles with figuring out what to get people. It can be family, it could be a significant other or your friends. This guide will help you figure out what to get those people. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing on this gift guide would be Candles. You might be thinking, okay, everyone gets everyone candles. That's what I get my mom every year. But I'm not thinking about your generic candle in a glass jar. I'm saying those funky, fun candles that you've been seeing all over Instagram, all over Pinterest. There is the Goop candles that are literally famous everywhere because of how cool they are. They have lots of fun candles that you can get at Urban Outfitters, all over Etsy. They are literally everywhere. This is a great gift for somebody that maybe just moved into a new apartment. I know I'm at that point in my life where a lot of my friends just graduated college, including myself, and they are moving out. And I feel like this is a great housewarming gift and a thoughtful gift for somebody that you know likes interior design or likes fun decorative items. These are a great way to take your average candle, candle gift and make it something more exciting and personable to each person. Similar to candles kind of are diffusers. I actually just got myself my own diffuser for my room by the brand Vitruvi. I could be saying that very wrong, but I feel like this is a great gift. It is long lasting. You can get them a pack of like different essential oils that they can put inside of it that they can test out. But I feel like these are just such great gifts because you can put them in any, any home. They're kind of like candles because they smell amazing, but they're also very decorative. Lots of different brands sell them too. I'll link some down below. But again, this is a great gift for somebody who just moved into a new house or a family member. Um, that you know could use this in a kitchen, in their bathroom, in their bedroom, wherever they want to have it. This is a great gift. But again, I really love this one. I do recommend this brand because I think they're just so beautiful and they've been doing amazing. Well, this one has been doing amazing in my room so far. So the third thing on this list would be cozy sets. So I know a lot of people are working at home and they're spending more time in their house rather than out and about and so i think a cute cozy set is such a great gift rather than wearing sweatpants you can give them a cute coordinated set and there's so many different brands that make amazing quality sets for example i love the brand donny they're based in la and they make all of their stuff in la and they also design it all there and their stuff is amazing they have the cutest shorts and top sets along with like you can get sweatpants too you can get sets at victoria's secret airy you can get them at lisa says Ga. there's so many different brands that i'll list down below and they're all just such i feel like it's a good thoughtful gift knowing that everyone's inside and who wouldn't like to receive a cute cozy lounge set because i personally love that as a gift the next thing is something that I recently started really like searching for and they would be great coffee table books. These make amazing gifts. One, again, for people that just moved into a new house or just like say you know somebody really loves film, for example, or fashion, you can get them a really nice coffee table book about that. So for example, I have this Dior huge book. Jay actually got this for me for my birthday a few years ago and then this one my aunt gave me and these are both very personable because they know that I like fashion and I skim through them. They are great to just use as decor too. You don't have to read them all the time. They look great on a coffee table, on a bookshelf or like me just on like a little dresser. It shows the person that you thought about what they were interested in and looked for something that you knew that they would actually care about and enjoy reading and it's a bit more special than just getting them something that doesn't have any meaning or value towards them you can get them on amazon any bookstore these ones are bought at a bookstore here that sells old ones so i think this one was like a resell somebody brought it in and then they sold it again and you can pretty much get them anywhere so coffee table books great gift i highly recommend 
if you really don't know how to get somebody, but you do know that they have certain interests in certain things. I have a lot of friends and family members that either love drinking coffee or their matcha or they have like a set tea that they love to have every morning and every night. Taking that into account and making a little basket is a great gift. For example, say you know somebody loves matcha, getting them their own like matcha set to make matcha at home. So getting a whisk, getting the matcha powder, a cute little cup or mug that they can drink it in and then wrapping it all up and making a little basket. You can do the same thing with teas. You put it in a little basket with maybe like a little teapot and a mug and that way it's like something that they will be using and I always like the idea of baskets because you can curate them for the person and maybe even do this with like hot chocolate. In the past, for my friends, I've made little hot chocolate baskets where you put like the hot chocolate powder, marshmallows, and you can like, they can make it themselves at home, which is such a cute idea. And along with this basket theme, you can do it with pretty much everything. So say, you know, somebody loves watching movies, you could do popcorn, different candies, and then maybe like a movie ticket like gift card. I know the movies aren't open right now, but maybe you could like put like a coupon on it and it'd be like watch a movie with me, movie night, date, which is a really cute idea. And it's a way that you can spend time with this person as well. Another thing that I've done in the past would be like a spa basket. And so I would have like a coupon or like a gift certificate to go to the nail salon. And in the basket, I would also have like a face mask, some nail polish, and I don't know, like some bath salts and you would wrap it up in this cute basket so when they open it there's it's all to a theme one it could be an experience or it can just be a theme of different things that you know they would enjoy but for all those people that have friends and family that love jewelry i'd say getting maybe like a really nice necklace from a nice brand that maybe they don't have any jewelry from or they do have jewelry from and you know they love the brand maybe getting like a little jewelry box or like a travel case I personally love the brand jewelry brand Missouri and they have the cutest little um, jewelry travel boxes and they are a bit pricey so it's a great gift for somebody because I personally wouldn't buy one for myself but if I was gifted it I would love it. They also have like lots of staple like necklaces that you can't really get wrong like if you just get somebody like a basic chain gold necklace. I feel like anyone would be happy with that. Um, I can show you some of the stuff that I have that I love from that. So I recently just got like this really cute, I don't know if you can see it, this really cute like chain necklace. My earrings are from Missouri, my rings are. I think just getting somebody a really nice elegant piece would be a very thoughtful gift. I always get really excited when I get jewelry because Honestly, I don't really buy jewelry for myself either, ever. It's always gifted to me and by family or friends. And so it's always exciting because I wear the stuff that I was gifted pretty much every day. And I feel like you can never have too many necklaces or earrings because you're always changing them out depending on what you're wearing. Next thing that I would really enjoy getting as a gift, I personally haven't gifted this to anybody, but an indoor house plant in like a cute pot that you like picked out yourself would be an amazing gift. One, because plants can get a little bit expensive and so receiving it as a gift is something that's so nice. And again, because everyone is inside, having plants is a great way to bring some life into the room when you're cooped up indoors. It's also great for oxygen, I think, I don't know. And they just look cute in your house. And again, if you find a really nice vase, or I'm not a vase, but like a pot to put it in, you could get a pot that matches the person that you're getting it for. So say somebody loves green, get them a green pot and it's another way to add a touch of getting personal with that person. This next thing is something that I would probably never ever like think to buy for anyone until like this year, but it would be reusable face masks because they're very useful and there's so many different places that are making the cutest face masks. So for example, Bagu, I have a ton of cute masks from them. They have amazing patterns and colors. You can get them on Etsy, Gap. Um, there you can get them pretty much anywhere. And again, masks can get expensive and I tend to just wear the same ones, but I mean, we're gonna be wearing them for a while now and it's fun to receive some fun pattern ones that you wouldn't necessarily buy for yourself. So masks would be a good gift to get somebody. 
So this is kind of a random idea, but like a spice set. I know that sounds really weird, but I think it's a great gift for somebody that's always cooking or that loves cooking or again just moved into a new house because spices can get expensive but you can get really nice spice sets. I know in the past like my parents have got it for my grandparents or my grandparents have gone for my parents and it's really nice touch along with like nice olive oils. That's always a really nice gift for somebody that loves to cook or like nice cooking salt. Um, Yes, it's very random, but again, you can make it into a basket like I was talking about earlier. Baskets are really nice, but yes, yeah, spice sets or anything that has to do with cooking for your friends that love to be in the kitchen and love to cook food for other people. Another great gift item would be a film camera or a disposable camera. Personally, like if you have, if you are in the budget, getting a used film camera is really nice. You can get them on eBay. If you can go to a film, different film stores, and they sometimes have like cameras, old film cameras that they bring in that people like give to them, and you can buy them there. And then getting them a film camera with film to go into it's really nice. You can also get them like disposable cameras, like to put in like stockings, which is really cute. But film is really popular. I like taking film pictures. I'm not in any way a photographer, but it's always fun to just capture a memory with it. You can put it in your bag and it's just a different way rather than taking your iPhone out all the time. So those are all my gift guide ideas. I hope this video gave you some inspiration on what you can get the people in your life for the holidays. Again, these are all just like examples. You don't have to get any of these things, but these are great gifts that are pretty broad. You can get for anybody foolproof. But again, I do want to make another video basically for gifts that are more specific towards a certain person. For example, like your dad, significant other, best friend, mom. So if you have any questions or people that you need help finding a gift for, you can put that in the comments down below. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And I hope to see you guys next time. But thanks for watching. Bye.